Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a new K-pop madness. We are going to be having a new artist on the channel. Um, I'm not too sure how to say her name. It's either BB or Bye Bye. Unsure if I want to say it's BB because it sounds a lot better. Uh, if it's Bye Bye, my bad. I don't. I don't know. Um, I did see a recent video on TikTok where you know she recently had a concert. She did look like she was pretty effed up on that video. Like her eyes looked like super like dilated, like she was on something. I don't know if she does any of that stuff, uh, but to me, her music did sound like it was very interesting. So I, I don't know. I thought it would be pretty cool to be checking her out. Um, yeah, any, I mean, we can, we can do some history look on her, but I kind of just want to get into this video because that's why we're here to be checking out the channels and then you guys can fill me on, on who she is. Cause you know, you guys normally are pretty good at letting me know like you know the background of who these people are and you know uh you know some of the life stories of what they've gone through so i'll leave that up to you guys all right so we are going to be checking out let's do five music videos we're going to start off with our first one um with someone 88 rising the song is called best lover and then we got never gonna calm down The weekend, uh, Pado, Pado. I'm not too sure how to say that word. And then, cigarette and condom. <laughs> so we have five songs that we're gonna check out by her. Um, I don't think we've ever done any artists where we've done five songs in a row. Besides, you know, our other K-pop madnesses where we usually do five songs, but it's normally by different artists. So, um, yeah. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. This is gonna be a different kind of K-pop madness, I guess. So, uh, let's go. She did seem like she was pretty popular, like on that one video that I did see, so. Stoked to be seeing what she's all about. Let's go. No lyrics. Oh. video like right off of the bat it is English Well, that was pretty intense. 
<laughs> for our first song by here, I really liked it. It did kind of, what did it remind me of? A little bit of Grimes in a way, kind of just like how she kind of, there was like a certain way of like some of the parts to where, you know, it kind of did sound like she had a, um, something to change up her voice a little bit, but you know, at the same time, like it did not seem like it had like any type of like filter on it at all. So it was really cool how she was able to make it sound like that and like super just like soft, but also really gritty at the same time. I really liked it. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of the time when there was like either stuff exploding or stuff dripping, it was kind of like, I mean, judging by the lyrics, you know, it did seem like it was, she was about to have it or she was having an orgasm. So <laughs> um Overall, I really liked the song. I liked the way that it sounded, like the sound behind it and everything. And really interesting that her first song that we were like, like we were reacting to was like all in English. And like I said, I don't know if she's like a Korean artist or whatever. Well, looking at this other one, it does say like best lover lyrical official lyric video. It does it looks like it's Korean writing, so I'm guessing that she is Korean. Um, so you guys could go ahead and let me know. But with that, we'll go ahead and hop into the next song. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. There's something about her that does seem like super different from like other artists, like female K-pop artist. Uh, you know, she's she's. I think it's just like mostly her personality that makes her her stand out. You know, her voice, and you know, her voice. If you look at her. Just from like the little clip or like the little thumbnail right here, you wouldn't guess that that voice would come out of, I don't want, you know, someone, I guess, who looks like this in a sense. But I guess that's kind of like it, like how there it is with most like female K-pop artists, you know, when it comes to like the rappers, you don't really like when you first see them, you don't expect them to have like that crazy like rapping type of voice. So yeah i don't know she's different she's definitely different so i like it her voice her voice uh is definitely different also interesting and also that other song was also english so i'm just wondering like maybe if that's just her thing is maybe you know she's able to sing all her songs in english let's go ahead and go on to the next one the weekend Oh, Jesus. I am a mess today. <laughs> Okay, so English. female k-pop artists
cool. Oh. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, that was something. Um, yeah, again, I'm going to say it again. She's very different. She has a very strong sex appeal, which I probably think, you know, that's why, you know, there was a lot of people at the time posting, you know, maybe it's just like because when it comes to my TikTok, you know, a lot of recommended comes up of K-pop stuff, but her in particular, like I've never heard of her anything. And so, you know, for her to pop up on my TikTok, I thought it was um, pretty random. And so it's a surprise to see her pop up while, you know, she's doing her concert because, you know, if I don't know anything about her it's kind of like why would she be popping up on my newsfeed so she must be very popular with a lot of people who are into you know k-pop music and um when the video ended there was like i was gonna ask is is she considered k-pop because you know a lot of her music was in english um or at least the songs that we listened to so far are in english so it would she be still considered K-pop? But when the last video ended, there was like the little recommended videos that did show like um, K-pop hits of something like of 2024, uh, something like that. So that, that might, I'm I'm guessing that she knows she still is considered K-pop. So I don't know, guys, but she's very interesting. And I think, you know, maybe her bad girl vibe and, you know, her strong sex appeal is what is, you know, attracting a lot of the audiences because they're not used to seeing at least in my opinion not used to seeing uh k-pop artists acting in that manner because i haven't seen anything like this of where there's like this um i guess strong of explicit and you know very different you know with the blood in the mouth and everything that kind of like gore it reminded me a little bit of in this moment which is heavy metal band um the kind of like art style that they do like use you know i'm not used to seeing it like in like k-pop videos so it's interesting and you know i'm i'm here for it so yeah um and then also you know the song of course you know the song also was really good i'm just like so distracted by like the visuals but I'm over here like bobbing my head and everything because like the song is still like really good. Um yeah. Strange. <laughs> uh we'll go ahead and get into the next one. Again, I do not how to know how to pronounce uh pa pa <laughs> I don't know. Let's English is very good though. Okay. Sorry. Oh, Vietnamese. So she just, I mean doesn't have any like English lyrics. Sorry, last time. I just want the whole experience.
Wow. I think so far out of all of them, I really liked that one the most only because, you know, for one, you know, the guitars, the, the may, the way it, it sounded kind of like indie and then just her voice, her voice in general is just so good. And, you know, she's still, she, she seemed like she was acting a little bit more innocent on this one. But she still kind of gave off like that badass present, especially presence, especially, you know, when she came in with the rap and everything. It just sounded so good. Like, what the heck? Four for four. I have one more cigarette and condom. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of seeing more of her style now. I can kind of sense that this next one will probably be a little bit more dirty, but we'll see. Um... Yeah, I mean, or or it could be like something, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be something a little bit more serious. I don't know. I'm really starting to like her music. I think maybe, you know, if, if you guys don't want to see any more reactions for her, I will probably, you know, go ahead and listen to them my own because so far I'm really liking what I'm hearing of hers and she is very good looking so, i mean that's not the reason why i'm gonna be like looking at more of her music videos you know i think she has a really good voice and her music sounds good but very good looking is a plus to it all all right last video uh cigarette and condom dingo and bb this collaboration oh Sounds like marshmallow. Me some more.
adorable. That one, it kind of had it like, had it. That one kind of had like a little, um, I don't know, kind of like a 90s, maybe not 90s, maybe like early 2000s, like hip hop type of sound. Uh, this one was probably my least favorite out of all of the ones that we did here so far. I do like how she has, it's, it went back and forth between having like a little innocence but also you know going to like the bad girl type of style i really love her smile by the way and i think again you know a lot of people probably gravitate to to her more because of like the type of sex appeal that she is giving off you know she's singing about all of these like sexual things and you know these uh being bad girl type of things and you know i don't think that's really the norm in a lot of k-pop music so i see like why a lot of people would like her in that sense um you know because she's not afraid to you know show off um basically the stuff of what a lot of artists do talk about today you know the sex the drugs money whatever um is basically a lot of what music is about so you know um it's not it's not a norm for Korean artists to be talking about this kind of stuff, which is, you know, very popular in today's culture with especially today's youth is, you know, listening to like a lot of crap about, you know, money, sex, drugs. But I don't know, for her, it does seem kind of different because it's, it, for me, it feels a little new for the Korean scene. And, you know, maybe I just don't listen. I don't know a lot of, you know, music outside of you know when it comes to korean culture you know k-pop i don't know you know if korean like rap music does you know say a lot of the same stuff as like american music or talks about a lot of the stuff as american music but um yeah i can see i can definitely see like why a lot of people do like her um again if you guys want me to react to some more of her stuff let me know Otherwise, I'll go ahead and check her out on myself. I really enjoyed a lot of her music that we did listen to on the channel today. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.